everyone this is my biggest unboxing so far on this channel this should be just a bunch of cubes in here someone uh, quit cubing and he was just itching to get rid of all his puzzles so he sold all of them to me or most of them to me for a really great price really really good so I couldn't resist and I just got them all okay so it's a whole bunch of puzzles in here um, never done such a big unboxing before so I'm just gonna just do what I'm gonna do I guess first thing are some wow what are these stickers torpedoes maybe a lot of these things I'll probably sell especially the black cubes that I kind of know I don't want so stickers and torpedoes that's cool this is a mini cube and I'm guessing the cap is somewhere in here yeah I'll find that as I go but a mini I think this is a mini alpha cube pretty cool this is a wit 2 nice all right big big puzzle uh crazy foot i had one of these before and i lost it i know that sounds crazy but i actually lost one of these and i have another one so that's pretty cool all right so here is a uh, hmm, guhang version one hmm pretty cool Sheng Shao 4x4 version 3 he told me I can quickly check just to make sure it's version 3 so yeah this looks like a version uh, 4 this is a black cube which I probably will just sell huh I think this is another Guhang V1 this Cap's probably in the box somewhere. This is what is this? Um, Gu Hong. No, this is a Zanshi. Uh, yeah, actually, just found out from um, original plastic. This bag. All right, here is a Master Magic. Uh, gotta move this box move over. Pretty cool. And this is a ghost hand magic. It's regular magic. Okay, what else is in here? Mini magic. Lingayu, Lingao. Cool. Uh, string popped out of this magic. Mm, doesn't matter. Oh, this is a Rubik's magic. Okay, yeah. What else? Huh. V Cube 7 with chrome stickers. That is crazy. It's pretty crazy because the price I, uh, for the price that I paid for all this, it's insane that I got all this. It's pretty insane, but I'm pretty excited. Uh, wow, cube with caps missing all over. What's this? This ghost hand version one or two, can't tell. This should be the F3. Yeah, I think it's the type F3. Pretty cool. This is a wit two. This is nice. <clears> hmm. <throat> Definitely leaning on V1. I don't even have to like pull it like oh gosh, I was wrong. <laughs> uh this is a what is this? Okay. Oh wow. 1980 Rubik's puzzle with for sure Japanese color scheme. Check that out. Wow. Um, not great moving, um, but pretty nice that I have it in my collection. This is MF8 version, maybe version 2. Uh, yeah, it seems like a version 2. VQ 2x2 pillowed. I'd actually like to sell this because there I have no need for a pillowed VQ 2. But um, movement is fine. Uh, seems like it needs lubing, but pretty cool. Rubik's 360, awesome. Now, now I have three of them, great. What is this? Oh, 
Here for you interchangeable tiles, the you know the tiles that you can change. Pretty cool puzzle. This is uh, <laughs> that's funny. This is a type F2 in black. I guess he's missing a cap, so he put that there. And I guess the cap came from here. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay, what's this? Alright, this looks like a Diane. What is this? This is cube for you. Uh, just black cube for you. Yeah. I have a couple of these cubes, just in different colors. So I have a black one now. This is, um, okay. I think this is a Ling Yun. So, uh, yeah, this might be a Ling Yun. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to have to look at my Ling Yun and see if this is a Ling Yun because I sort of forgot how that puzzle looks on the inside, I guess. I've been playing with Guhang V2s and Zanchi so much. I haven't, I don't remember how the Ling Yun really looks. This is a Diane for sure. Okay, what else we got? We have a A5. Um, sorry, not an A5, sorry, Alpha CC. Uh, I can tell because of just how the puzzle looks. What else? We have a mirror blocks. Huh. Oh, I don't know how to, I don't even want to say it, but a uh, pretty cool puzzle. This is a Rubik's brand, gray, because it feels like a Rubik's. Yeah, it's got to be a Rubik's. It's hard to come out. Yeah, it feels like a Rubik's. So it's a Rubik's brand that he restickered, and it's a gray body color. Okay, so this is a Alpha product. All right, so this is another magic again. Oh, wow, my very first floppy cube. Check that out. Um, uh, I think it's a super, is this a super floppy? Yeah, super floppy. Oh, this is cool. Wow, this is cute. Missing a sticker, but easily, I can easily get a sticker on there. This is a cute little key keychain. I've never owned a keychain before. Keychain Rubik's Cube. So this is kind of cool. And you know, it doesn't, it moves nice <laughs> for a Rubik's. And it's so cute too. Wow, it's so small. All right, compared to a three by three. This thing is, it's like, it's like it's a little baby or brother. What else is in the, okay, so this is a tight cube. I have no idea what it is. Uh, I wanna take it off. You know, it might be a Rubik's Brown again. S sticker blade remover, that's good. I think this is the last cube in there and it's a Rubik's Brown again. All right, everyone, I had a chance to actually go over the puzzles and know what most of them are. So I'm gonna quickly just tell you what uh, they are. All right, so I got 37 puzzles, including this one by one right here. And then this is a mini keychain three by three, uh, Rubik's brand. All these right here are Rubik's brand puzzles. All five of these, this is a gray bodied one. This is just a regular black one. Another regular black one, but he, uh, the stickers are black with keep for you logo. Another bl regular black one, the white stickers are gone with keep for you logo. And 1980s, uh, Rubik's brand with its logo and its Japanese color scheme. Pretty cool. This is a A5 or Alpha Alpha 5. Um, this is a Lingao Mini Magic Cube Twist Magic Cube Twist Master Magic, which is pretty cool because this is what I actually used to use when I used to do Master Magic. Ghost Stand Magic, and then Rubik's Magic that needs to be really strong. Pretty much empty Rubik's, Lubik's, Lube. Um, not sure how much is in this, but looks like it's almost gone. Lubik's Torpedoes, Rubik's 360, 
sticker remover blade. This is a super floppy cube. Um, this one is a V cube seven with chrome stickers. Uh, it was kind of hard solving with it because the silver and the gold kind of looks the same when it's all mixed up. And then the, the orange and the red kind of looks the same when they're all mixed up. This is a Mosey 2x2x1. Two by two by Pretty cool, very easy to solve. This is a Type F3. This is a cube for you in a changeable tile. These two are WIT2 version 1, uh, white plastic and stickerless. V cube 2B, payload 2x2. Two two. This actually is a Shengshao 4x4 version 2. I already have one, so now I have two of them. And I'll show you why it's a version 2. It's because of how that edge looks right there, how it looks. That's how the version 2 edge looks. This is a YJ. I believe the brand is YJ. Crazy Foot 3x3. It's really big 3x3. Really big. And um, I probably said this before, but I actually lost one. And now I have another one. So that's pretty cool that I got one again. This is a MF8 version 2. Uh, it seems like a version 2 um, MF8 Mega Minx. This is a mirror blocks that I mixed up uh, that I'm going to try to solve. But I think I got the cross and um, now I got to figure out the rest. This is a ghost hand version 1 or 2. I could easily find out on YouTube but I didn't bother to look it up. But it's the one that has those uh, like rigid, rigid thingies. This is a Type F2. This is a micro uh, alpha because I have a mini alpha and the mini is bigger. This is a alpha CC. These are all Dian puzzles right here. Start off with these. This is the Lingyan version one with uh, green torpedoes. The Lingyan version one can explode or and pop. So torpedoes definitely can help. This is the Lingyan version two. Pretty cool. The, all four of these are Guhong version 1s. This Guhong version 1 is a POM plastic Guhong version 1. I believe this was like a limited edition and it's really hard to find one of these now. Uh, I guess they just didn't make much or something like that, but it's really hard to find. And I'm glad I finally have one because I wanted to complete my Dian 3x3 uh, collection, but I didn't have the Guhong POM. I had like the other 3x3s, the originals and the regular plastic, but I didn't have the POM plastic. Now I have it. It's safe to say I think I complete all the 3x3s that uh, they have, the type of 3x3s. Okay, so this one is just a, a Guhong that he modded. I can tell he modded because I see that plastic was shaved down. Shaved down. This is a Guhong version 1. And this is just the Guhong version 1 also. And then this is the last one. This is a Zanchi. It's actually the original uh, plastic Zanchi. I can tell by the core. And I, I also have an original Zanchi somewhere over there. But So I was just comparing it and it is the original uh, Zanchi. Uh, now I have two, but I really don't need two. I'm fine with the one I did have. So... I'm not sure if, how long I'm going to be keeping this, but yeah guys, this this is all the puzzles I got from him, all 37 uh, puzzles, pretty cool. Alright guys, I think that's all for my video, thank you, um, thank you for selling this to me, I'm not, oh he says he doesn't mind if I mention his name, thank you SVCuber22 for selling me all this for an amazing price. And thank you guys for watching this video. Have a great time, guys. Bye.